Hello, welcome. Welcome to the Video Game Valley. It's a beautiful but also very spooky day today. That's right, it's Fear Fright Day here in the Video Game Valley. And we're playing a particularly spooky game. It's called Home on the PlayStation TV. Home on the PS TV. It's the game I thought I was playing a couple weeks ago. <laughs> I picked the. I, I chose a different pixel art horror game thinking it was this one and didn't realize until weeks later. But we're playing it now. Looking forward to that. Mason, thank you for the $4.20. Honey, I'm home on the PlayStation TV. I sure am. <laughs> Who wouldn't feel home getting sucked into the PlayStation TV? It's a wonderfully cozy place for all, for all of us. Thank you, Mason. And Tom Alexi, thank you for the $2. Elf is in my home, and my cat has gone missing. Well, uh, you know who would, is really good at finding cats? Uh, Alf. You should, ask, you should ask Alf to help out. Ask Alf. I'm sure Alf will give you some... Give you, lend you a hand. Alf is real, real kind like that. How's everyone doing today? Hope you're all doing well. For the first time today, I watched the finale to Charlie, Charlie, and that was spectacular. I'm glad you liked it. Glad you liked the Charlie the Unicorn finale. <clears throat> Pretty proud of it. I, I like how it came out. Yeah, uh, there were times I was working on it where I felt as though my whole entire body was folding itself into an envelope. <laughs> And mailing itself. <laughs> mailing itself to the bottom of the ocean. But no one would take my letter there, so I unfolded myself and, and finished it. Uh, what are we doing? Are we doing? Here we go. PlayStation TV. See, I picked this one, Lone Survivor. I was like, oh yeah, I remember that game. I remember this game because you uh, choose different options. There's, there's no fighting. <laughs> you pick different options and the story goes different ways. <clears throat> I started playing it and I was like, oh, there's a lot more fighting in this than I remembered. <laughs> I had picked the wrong game. This is the one. Broke in my new skates today. Oh, cool. Yeah, how did that go? How did your new skating go? Please wait. You know what I like? I like when I back out of this stuff. It page peels. That's nice. That's good stuff. Let me do that again. <laughs> wow. It's so good. I'll do it one more time. Had a great time. Skated like two miles. Nice. I'm glad, I'm glad it went well. It's very exciting. I, uh... Years ago, I made the mistake of getting some roller blades. Thinking that I could just learn it basically within a day. <laughs> I, I have not managed that yet. Should have gone with skates. Home. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, <clears throat> Alright, let me let me look up this error real quick. <laughs> See this is this is the perils of modern gaming. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think uninstalling it and reinstalling it should possibly fix this. Let's see, how do I, how do I do that? <clears throat> well, actually, are there any updates? <laughs> Reboot your modem. I need to reboot my modem. Uh, I gotta connect to my, my Wi-Fi. One second, I gotta enter my, my password. Don't look. Don't look at my password. Broken game simulator is great. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. We're a broken game simulating. This is an intention. This is part of the the show. This is. <laughs> right, I don't think there's any updates. Let me. It's funny. I don't actually know how to uninstall something. I guess I can turn the footage back on. Aha! Almost. <laughs> Alright, so let's go back to the store and re-download this. Not a full boyfriends on PS TV. It sure is. has been lost. Oh, I must sign in. I see. <clears throat> Having a lot of good time with the <laughs> PlayStation TV today. I, I thought everything would be fine, but things are things are not fine yet. We'll get to it. Oh, another error has occurred. Maybe it'll help to just reboot the PlayStation TV. That's probably what I need to do. It's got a power. Let's completely turn off the power. To make the necessary blood sacrifice. <sighs> I did I do think I forgot that. You need to sign into Game Pass. Yes. That's it. That's I needed to sign into <laughs> Xbox Game Pass. I must update the system software. What? Is there seriously a new system update? <laughs> oh, this might be what the problem is. Maybe...
Yeah, update the system, sure. All right. How is there an update? <laughs> How is there still an update to the PlayStation TV? <clears throat> Here we go. How about those Mets? How are the, how are the Mets doing? Probably just for security stuff, yeah. <sighs> didn't read the fine print. I didn't. I, I just sold away all my rights. All my rights are gone! I think there was a PS3 update too, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, there was a PS3 update. Imagine being the one person left to PlayStation, working on the PlayStation TV. <laughs> Sky Two Fall, thank you for the 199. This is all going rather well. Forgot I wrote that on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's going fine. That's it's. This is no problem. We're all hanging. Oh my God. Why is the resolution different now? This is fine. This is normal. This is, this is a thing that happens. We just gotta calm the PlayStation TV down. It has a system update to donk up the resolution. That's the whole update. That's the update, baby! Congratulations, your resolution's donked. We thought the output was a little... too HD. <laughs> it should be much less HD. That's what I get for not trying to launch the game before streaming. Next time I'll remember. Important to launch the game before streaming, just in case. Update makes it black and white. I, If I worked at PlayStation, I would at some point create a system update that's just... <laughs> It just replaces your background with just screaming clowns. I have a friend request. Great. It's great, great to hear. Let's go to the store. Let's see if this works. You launch the game before streaming. You would miss out on this update commentary. It's true. I guess this does give you a... Uh, an insight into the true PlayStation TV experience. PS TV just lets you play your PS4 on a different TV in your house? No. No, this is its own platform. It, uh... It runs games from the PlayStation Vita library, but not all the games. It's only PlayStation TV Vita games. <laughs> it's, yeah, PS Vita games for PS TV. It's a micro console. Competing with, uh, you know, like, the Ouya. Where'd it, where'd it go? I guess it's, it's downloading. It'll show up eventually. Download complete. 
Where have you placed it? No, seriously, where on earth have you placed it? Have you placed it? <laughs> you placed it anywhere? Just in case it shows my friend request. I don't know who sent me a friend request, but I don't want to privacy someone. Okay, it's... It just, it hasn't installed yet. Which had a greater cultural impact, the PlayStation TV or the Ouya? Unbelievably, I think it's literally a, a, a dead tie. <laughs> Uh, unbelievable, it had to install and then you open it and it installs again. Well, so far, no error. Hey, we did it, everyone. They said it couldn't be done. They said you couldn't launch a game on this console. <laughs> <laughs> they said it was impossible. <clears throat> well, here we are. Just so you know, for those of you watching at home, uh, this game does this thing uh, in dark areas. It can be hard to tell, but what might look to you like macro blocking, uh, like compression artifacts on your stream is actually an intentional visual choice here. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain this outside of just to say that the extremely blocky grays you're looking at is exactly how it looks like on my television. It's like, it's a, it's a pixel art effect. Intentional compression artifacts. Yeah, it, that's just kind of what it looks like. It's not I it's not intended to be Like that's not the intent artistically to be compression artifacts. That is what it looks like though <laughs> All right home a unique horror adventure by Benjamin Rivers Your game will be saved automatically at certain points However, we recommend you put aside an hour and a half and complete a uh, home in a single sitting. Oh, well, look at how much time we got left on the stream. That's perfect. <laughs> it all works out. Wear headphones. Turn off the lights. Well, uh, I've... I got a television here. Out in the middle of nowhere, and uh, <laughs> it's very bright out, so not quite the intended experience. All I. Re well, what's your voice? I should do the ghost house voice again. All I remembered at that point was finding myself alone. Oh. Oh, my head. Where was I? It was so uh, dark. There was something by my feet. A flashlight. Well, here we go. So, yeah, if you see the, uh, the real macro blocky kind of <laughs> stuff there. Once again, this is intentional. This is not YouTube compression just going uh, going buck wild. <laughs> this is how the game looks. Just so you know. That house. Where was I? There was a body lying on the floor. Who was it? Meow. 
Hello. Corps, thank you for the two dollars. I hear Disney is making a Beach Boys documentary. Oh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know that I would watch that. Uh, the Disney Beach Boys documentary. But let's, let's explore a little more around here. Looks like a bird's nest. The desk had a computer and some papers on it and a single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but did I open the drawer? Uh, you know what? We're doing a poll. Did I open the drawer? Remember, this has an effect on how things play out in the game. Well, it seems like, uh, seems like most people are voting yes. Receipts, pens, and a blurry a photo looked kind, looked like a store of some kind. Why did this look so familiar? We snooped. Oh. Blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and a pants. Oh, man. I had to get out of there. Goodbye. I love you. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg, I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, try to find a way out. The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. Seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. Yeah. Ah, oh, thank you for the two dollars. Haven't thought about this game in years. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good game. I like it. Thank you, ah. Oh. <laughs> a thin, gray mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked frantic, but exhausted. Did I free it? Let's do a poll. <laughs> Poll results coming in. Beep 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 Results coming in. Beep 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 Alright, results are in, yes. I freed the mouse. A collection of rusty tools. These looked like they'd seen a lot of use and were caked in uh, damp smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? I found a picture of a couple. It looked like it had been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? Let's see what chat thinks. Did I push the switch? Let's 
I feel like chat's just gonna answer yes to everything. <laughs> <laughs> it depressed smoothly into the wall. I heard far away click somewhere. Say yes to life, Jason. Yeah, why don't we just yes and everything in this game? I've decided we're, we're gonna yes and no matter what. <clears throat> this is what I've learned from Chad. Hopefully we don't get any horrible choices. <laughs> Commit war crime? Yes. An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liqueur bottles along the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. A black and white photo. Looked like the man upstairs and his wife. I guessed... <laughs> comma, his wife. Comma, I guessed. There was no reason for me to keep it, this. Do I take it? Yes. I slipped the photo into my pocket. Maybe this would help me find some answers. And email the wife. I looked like hey heck. My clothes were dirty and torn, and there was mud caked all over my shoes. The front door was blocked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another way out. The door was taped up and seemed to be stuck. By the smell, I guessed it led to the kitchen. Smells like a big pizza pie in there. They're making a big pizza. The switch in the wall appeared to have unlocked the door. There's a tunnel down there. <clears throat> the box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Maybe I had found a way out. I must have moved it, right? Yes. I heaved the box forward, and it finally gave. There was a ladder going underground, where the box was. A dank smell rose from the passage. Did I climb down the ladder? We're, yes, we're yesing everything. It's, it's yes time, <laughs> baby, no matter what. <laughs> I looked again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant. Distant, like they didn't want to be in the same picture. I wondered where the wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. I don't care about the husband. I want to find this wife. I just think she looks uh, cool. Footprints in the dirt look like more than one kind and a lot of traffic. Places all over were marked on the old map of town, the industrial area near the river, various houses, and even the water tower near the old rail station. Thought the husband was the dead body? Yeah, probably. Newspaper clippings from the local paper. They were all about murders in town over the last few years. Wait... There were photos. Photos of our house. What the heck was that about? Maybe I should have looked around more, tried to find some kind of information. A work table, covered in papers, dirt, and a handgun. I hated guns. I didn't take it, did I? Yes. I tucked the small handgun into my pocket. Its weight was somehow reassuring. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have... I have yes-man disease. I'm all yeses today. It was so dark down there, and the air smelled stale and putrid. I couldn't believe what I saw. What was this place? The desk looked old and was caked with grime. 
On it was a stack of old faded paper covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out, and illegible notes were written beside them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. None of it made any sense to me. There looked to be bones half dug into the ground, and the remains looked old. The faded clothes that stuck up among the dirt looked familiar. They looked like the clothes that woman was wearing in the photo I found. Was this the man's wife? Dang it. Oh, well. <laughs> Goodbye. I love you. Crudely made shelves. They looked like they were holding cans of some kind of corrosive. The labels were worn and slick, but I could see, uh, still see the warnings. Some kind of homemade rack, slung together with poorly cut wood and rope. It was caked with old blood. Somebody didn't actually use that, did they? It looked like a cage. It was small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. Some kind of old boxes. They looked like they were years old. Wait a minute. These boxes had old clothes in them. Clothes I remembered throwing out after Rachel and I moved to town. What the heck were they doing there? There wasn't anyone there. Was I hearing things? Get out of here. Uh, bats. <laughs> get, the, get the heck out of here. I remember noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. I don't remember if I jumped down there or found another way. It looked to be a long way. <laughs> did, I, <laughs> did I jump down? Yes. Oh, man. My leg hurt. I was limping even worse than before. I could hear some sort of faint humming noise up ahead. All I can do is yes. It's all yeses. A bunch of old newspapers. Wheat pasted together. A message had been hastily smeared on it. Keep out. Danger due to cave-in. Oh, that's my cue. <laughs> the gun was heavy and uncomfortable in my pocket and didn't help ease the constant dull ache in my leg. I opened the metal door and was glad to have the slick, wet walls of those tunnels behind me. What was the man upstairs up to? What was he doing there? As the musty scent of those rock walls was replaced with an altogether different smell, I braced myself. An exposed ventilation shaft. Maybe someone crawled through there, but it was so high up, that must have been a sore landing. Couldn't have been me. My legs too hurt. <laughs> there was dirt on the ground. It looked hoet, and there was a grass smeared within it. I could hear a faint trickling sound, like water. What was that? A kitchen knife covered in drying blood. Thinking about it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take the knife? Yes. I slipped the knife into my boot. Since I had the gun in my pocket, do I really need all this? Apparently I do. Exit. Hmm. Right, let's go this way first. Ah. 
That's fine. The door was locked. There was a musty smell from inside. I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn it anyway? Yes. Absolutely. I wasn't sure, but I thought it was some kind of regulator. I had no idea how it worked. I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn it anyway? Yes. Uh, yeah, I turn this. I turn all of them. Why not? Dang it. <laughs> Turning the valves didn't unlock the door. I don't know if this is a puzzle. <laughs> oh yeah, there is a mark on them. It is a puzzle. Where... All right, what? This one's not pumping anymore. Did I turn it too much? I'm just gonna keep turning these until they're not active anymore. All right, I turned off all the pumps. Dang, still locked. <laughs> all right, whatever. Dang, I wish I could smell this game. The game meant for the smell of vision. Disgusting. It was a mess of filthy garbage bags. There were rips and tears in most of the bags. What looked like an old videotape was sticking out. Did I take the tape? Yeah. I wasn't sure what I hoped to discover with the tape, but I took it anyway. There a room that mentioned mortar. Yeah. I thought that was... I thought that was this room, though. I was hearing the, the pipes. Well, who knows if, uh, if that did anything. We'll just go out the exit now. Turning those valves must have drained the water that was in this room. <laughs> there was a ladder I could reach. Oh, nice. Looked like the water drained out of that grate in the wall. Hmm. There was a small metal uh, key left floating in the shallow pool of rancid water. Did I take it? Uh, yes. I pocketed the small key. But it was so odd-shaped, I had no idea what it might open. The smell hadn't improved much, and the room was damp. The safety poster had definitely seen better days. How old was that facility? The door was locked. I could see a faint light within. There was a security camera in the room. 
There must have been a way to see what had happened. Maybe the VHS tape I found could be useful. I found another dead body. A sewer worker. By the wounds all over his face and body, I figured he'd been stabbed repeatedly. There was a key ring sticking out of the man's pocket. Did I take it? Yes. I thought about the knife I had found with some uh, disgust as I carefully picked the keys from his pocket. I was almost worried he was going to grab me. That would have been gross. There was a hint of fresh air here. I must have been near an exit, but I wondered. What did that key I found on the sewer worker do? And what was on the videotape I found? That's true. I should go back. There was that one door that was locked. I'm going to open it. Maybe. I tried a bunch of the keys on the key ring I had found on that sewer worker, and one of them seemed to fit. A collection of stale liqueur bottles cover the floor. The wall was littered with dozens of old faded papers. Whoever did this was obsessed with some local murderers. According to some of the clippings, bodies had been found in ravines, in the forest, and in one case, dumped in the back of an abandoned truck. I couldn't be sure, but I thought some of these same articles had also been pasted up back in those tunnels. A faded receipt was half trampled on the floor. It was from the local train station, and it was for two tickets. I didn't know what use it could be, but did I keep the receipt? Yes. I neatly folded the soiled receipt and slipped it into my front pocket. Well, I guess that's it for here. Through the dust, I could see handprints from previous use, probably from whoever worked in those sewers. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if there's anything else I can do around here. All right. Whatever. <laughs> oh, I did not want to go back into those tunnels. I was hoping to find a VHS tape player, but... My leg ached just thinking about it. Yeah. I... I think, I think that's all I can do here. I mean, maybe it's not, but who knows. I use the key ring to unlock the door. Oh, here we go. Perfect. The shelf full of security tapes was strictly organized, though covered in dust. Looks like the tape I found was wh the one that was missing from the shelf. There was a dusty VCR in the security desk. 
I wondered what was on that VHS tape I found. Did I play the tape? Yes. Oh, no. The video showed a man right there in the sewers being attacked. The tape looked fuzzy and stretched, like somebody had tampered with it. It looked like there could have been two men. Two dudes. Hanging out, being pals. Oh, that guy's dead, yeah. This must have been the other end of that ventilation shaft. Whoever used it could have gotten past that flooded room with this. Would I, would I need that gun or that knife before the end? Both weighed me down and aggravated my leg as I climbed that old ladder. The thought of that videotape still gave me chills. Who was it that didn't want to be seen? Was it the same person that hid all those clippings away in that locked room? Suddenly, the awful smell of that sewer gave way to a pine-scented blast of fresh air. Well, time to head to the office. An old ladder leading up to an ancient water tower. The ladder needed to be extended so I could climb it. Did I extend the ladder? Yes. I popped the latch and brought the ladder down. Let's, let's try going up the ladder first. In a patch of smeared dirt and grass, there was a beat-up old wallet. I thought it was mine. Did I take it? Yes. I slid the filthy wallet into my back pocket. I noticed it didn't contain any kind of gun permit. <laughs> In fact, it didn't contain any cards or ID of any kind. I thought I should recover my credit card and driver's license at least. From the railing, I could see over the woods and down to the entrance to the sewer. Had I come through there before? If I did, somebody definitely could have seen me. I tried the little key I had fished out of the murky puddle in the sewer. It fit, and I heaved open the rusty door. The wind was picking up a bit. The night air had become strangely chilly. Ah, uh, no. I'm chilled. The old train station was quiet as a tomb. The only sound was that of the increasing wind buffeting the uh, decrepit uh, structure. An old map encased in glass hung on the wall. It was the train routes connected to that old station. As I looked at it, it seemed familiar. Of course, the map I found in those tunnels had similar locations marked. And the notes I found on the other uh, man's bookshelf. His notes mentioned the water tower and even this train yard. What was he doing coming back here? What the heck? 
Noticed you're pretty much at 4x. Congrats. I think you'll hit 100k for sure. Yeah, it's doing really well. It's doing it's doing pretty good. Very happy about that. A lot of the llamas with hats fans out there. <laughs> back in the back of the Kickstarter. The old train was ripped open and hanging from a shred of metal, as well as the broken fence, was a dark stained patch of cloth. It looked synthetic, like some kind of outerwear. Inside the train's shell, I could see a few faint impacts, like wounds. Could they have been bullet marks? Was somebody shot there? The ground was well worn, though I couldn't really make anything out. I realized I was touching the gun I had found as I thought. An old ticket booth that looked fairly ruined. Inside the ticket window were sheets of paper and... Wait, what were these? Train receipts? I thought the receipt I had picked up might match these, but of course not. This station has been closed for years. The ticket must have been for the newer station that opened up on the other side of town after this one was abandoned. However, I noticed a series of fresher-looking papers covered in tiny notes, scribbles, and diagrams. I earned a trophy. Hooray. I guess that's uh, I guess that's the end of this this area. Yeah, I don't think there's any anything more I can do here. I'll have to backtrack. That's that's it through here. That's that's good. This must have been the entrance to the forest that was mentioned on that map I had seen. Whoever was poking around in those tunnels underneath that man's house had scribbled notes on this place, but I couldn't make them out. Here the sign pointed out various campsites and walking paths within the woods. It mentioned a river, and maybe a wash room, but the rest was too faded to see clearly. I just went through a bush tunnel. <laughs> Trampled into the dirt and grass was a plastic card of some kind. I brushed it off and was surprised to see it was my ding dang credit card. I wasn't sure if it was still usable, but it was mine. Did I take back my credit card? Yes, I pocketed the credit card. Hopefully I could find my driver's license, too. That'd be good. Through the fence, I could see a dilapidated outbuilding. I wondered if I could find my way around. Uh, 
Let's keep going through the bushes. Walking through the bushes in the middle of the night. There were some personal effects shoved back into the rock. Wait, there was a notebook there too. Did I read it? Yes. Inside the cheap dollar store notebook was page after worn page of names and lists. None of it made much sense. The newest page contained several names. Excuse me, I had to had to sneeze. <laughs> Apologies. All right, here's the names. <clears throat> Take a sip of my uh, green tea. Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, Iris, Daphne, Holly, Rose, Rachel. Rachel? Her name was last on the list. It, ha it had a mark beside it in blue ink. The names Daphne and Olivia had been crossed out in the same blue ink. Cheryl, Heather, and Rose had also been crossed out, but these marks looked older and more faded. A few embers still burned within the fire pit. Who was camping here? Was it... A ghost? <laughs> One of the two folding camp camping chairs was knocked over, and there was beer spilled everywhere. Where did the campers run off to in such a hurry? There was a cheap two-person dome tent. Though the screen on the front, uh, through the screen on the front, I could see two sleeping bags, backpacks, and a small cooler. No, 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 no. Don't. Don't something. All right. Well, time to go in this door. Time to go in the no, 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 don't door. The grimy sink had a small patch in it that looked almost clean. A musty wooden plank uh, propped up the stall door. It didn't really seem useful. Did I bother to take it? Yes. I wasn't sure why, but I took the plank. <laughs> I got a plank now. I got a gun, a knife, and a plank. The sign was the same as the first one I had seen. This must have been the exit to the other side of the woods. I had finally found the exit. Once I left, I uh, knew I never wanted to return there. Alright, uh, yeah, I guess I'm good. Through the dense trees, I could finally start to see some light. I must have been at the edge of the forest, though I wasn't sure where the path ahead of me led. I could almost feel the cryptic notebook in my pocket as I tried to think about what it could mean. And where were the campers who had abandoned their sight? Would I meet them too? Though the path ahead of me was less dense, I still felt guarded and wary. Who knew what was ahead? Could be anything out in the woods. Walking through the forest, a forest in the moonlight, with you, walking in the moonlight with my gun, and my knife and you, 
and the plank. Plank of wood. As I stepped through the gate, I suddenly recognized the auto parts factory where I had worked as a machinist for all those years. The plant had closed almost three years ago now. Times were better then. I thought I could hear a faint rustling behind me. Maybe it was just the wind. One of the lockers hung open. Its contents were tossed around like someone had been looking for something. Cool. There was a large power box with five lights on it. Cables burst out of the box, shaking off uh, two other parts of the factory. I mean, snaking off. <laughs> they were snaking off. The metal was starting to wear, and cobwebs have coll had collected on the corners. The box wasn't receiving power. The door was locked tight, seemed to be connected to the power box beside it. The door was locked shut. There was a little electronic box under the handle. A sign was pasted uh, to the front that said, Danger, closed for repairs. Every part of this plant smelled old and rotted. I noticed the old bulletin board on the wall. The board contained yellow clippings of newspaper cartoons, like Garfield, and notices. There were notes to and from the guys that worked here. One of them was to Norman, who was one of the older guys on the line. Huh, a power panel. Looks like it was shut off. Did I pull, push the switch? Yes. The open locker was stuffed with dirty work clothes and old boots. There was a photo of a woman taped to the inside, but it was scratched out and the face was unrecognizable. Huh, a power panel. Looks like it was shut off. Do I push the switch? Yes. Oh. There we go. It was shut tight. There was a rusty looking card slot on the side. Our old break table. The layer of dust and grime only made seeing this sting more. We used to read Garfield together here. We had so many laughs. <laughs> Reading that funny cat. The door had been hastily boarded up. This was Norman's locker. The door was dented like someone had punched it. I don't remember him doing that when we worked there. Another panel that I had hoped could get help me get the power back on. Do I push the switch? Yes. A utility shelf crammed with mismatched tools and items. There was a claw hammer on the shelf. Did I take the hammer? Yes. As I took the hammer, I noticed it wasn't as dusty as the rest of the tools on the shelf. I got a knife and a gun and a hammer as I walk in the moonlight. The locker was a complete mess. Hidden at the bottom, though, was a magnetic card. Did I take the card? Yes. I slip d the key card into my pocket. <laughs> Another panel I'd hoped could get me the power back on. Push the switch. Uh, push it again. Power panel still wasn't working. Try it again. Yeah. There we go. Another panel. 
Still not working. There we go. Other than a day's work. The door opened now that the power was back on. Trying to keep me out of here. Another smudge of dirt similar to the one I found in the sewers was on the floor. A large pile of building material and debris blocked the way. <laughs> A rusted old regulator of some kind sat dusty and unused against the wall. Planks, tools, and broken up parts blocked any further passage. Within the dust there were deep scratches like from some kind of tool or blade. A samurai has been here. The power box looked like it was running again. With the power box working again, the door was unlocked. Did I go through? Yes. I pushed the handle and stepped through the door. A rack of flashlights hung on the wall. One of them was missing. My flashlight flickered for a moment as I stepped onto the pockmarked ground. The air still smelled of trees and rain, and I was starting to get cold. Did my flashlight really come from that factory? How would I have received it? My head ached as I wrestled with my thoughts, and my body felt ready to give up completely. My only option was the path in front of me. I hoped desperately that it led back to town. Maybe if I ended up close to Norman's store, he could help. Norman. Norman. A pickup had smashed into the guardrail and stood silent. Was this the truck that those newspaper clippings mentioned? Was there really a body found here too? The garbage bin was a disgusting mess of rotten food and slick black bags. I saw a thin greenish corner poking out from one of the bags. Oh, nice. It's uh, uh, my favorite cereal. <laughs> it's Lu Lucky Charms. I think that's a green box, right? <laughs> lucky Charms. A box of Lucky Charms. How lucky am I? It was my driver's license. It looked damaged. Did I take it back? Yes. I cleaned the card off as best I could. It looked pretty beat up. I was amazed to have found my credit card, and now this. Lucky Charms is red. Dang it, it wasn't Lucky Charms <laughs> after all. <laughs> Son of a gun. I tucked the card into my wallet next to my credit card. Apple Jacks. Dang it, I thought it was Lucky Charms. It was Apple Jacks. No good. <laughs> I don't like Apple Jacks. Yucky. Blah. Blah. Sounded like it was going to start raining again. I had entered Norman's place. This was the back of the store that he ran. It was oddly quiet except for the faint sound of a television.
I'm singing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain. The entrance to the front of the store was locked from the inside. Looked like I couldn't just pop it open. It needed a key. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. There was a bit of blood in the keyhole. A lot of blood and a lot of holes here. Oh, more blood. The TV still flickered some indecipherable channel. Uh, oh, no. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Norman, my co-worker and one of the few friends I had in this town, lay dead beside his armchair. His face and shirt were covered in blood. It looked like he had been shot trying to get up. His eyes were still wide with a shock. Norman, you deserve better than this. Did I close his eyes? Yes. I wasn't sure if I wanted to give him peace or if I just couldn't stand to think anymore about what was going on. Quickly, I closed Norman's eyes. Norman, I couldn't make out what was on the screen, but that glow just gave me the chills. Singing in the rain, singing in the rain. I guess this was Norman's kitchen table. He kept it clean enough, but there were water rings from two cups still there in the weird. The kitchen trash bin smelled fresh. I didn't dig through that mess, did I? <laughs> yes. I found a hairpin amongst the rotting food and trash and pocketed it. Mmm, fresh garbage. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. I'm laughing at clouds so dark up above. Sun's in my heart. I'm ready for love. Despite the shock of already finding Norman in that state, seeing this turned my stomach just as much. It was one of Rachel's old fall coats. What was it doing there? Was she okay? Was Norman emailing Rachel? <laughs> Inside the cabinet was a small but impressive collection of hunting rifles, shotguns, and even a few items I didn't think were legal here. One of the slots on the rack was empty. The gun I had found seemed to match the others there. If the handgun was Norman's, what the heck was he doing with it? The gun would fit there. Did I place it back in the cabinet? Oh, I guess we're getting rid of the gun. Yes. I carefully pushed the piece back into place and felt a great burden lifted. All right, gun's gone, gun's gone. Can you take it out again? That's a good question. Norman, what were you doing with all these? Nope, it's just gone now. <laughs> bad, bad decision rectified. <laughs> <clears throat> Norman I used the hairpin to pick the lock The hairpin snapped in half So I threw it away The general store was small But it was clean It had the usual things Postcards, snacks, magazines, and canned goods I never went there much Rachel usually stopped by after work If we needed anything the register was mostly empty, and a fat stack of travel magazines sat beside it. You bet I helped myself to those travel magazines. Hmm. <laughs> Do I want to visit Oregon? Maybe. The icebox seemed to be unplugged. It must have been off for a while. Most of its contents were half-melted. There were various postcards from the area, especially from the tourist traps, one of the postcards showed an old black and white photo of the water tower. It looked to be in much better shape then. Norman was dead, but I had no idea why. 
Was he involved in all this somehow, or was he just another victim? That gun I fo had found only seemed to complicate matters. It was such a relief to finally be rid of it. Home wasn't far off now. Even though the rain was relentless, I had to keep going. It was locked. This wasn't the right gate. The gate was locked tight. This wasn't my house. Not even gonna try that one. I'm just gonna keep going. Mm. I had the wrong gate. This one was locked. Dang it, the one I didn't try. <laughs> The gate was locked tight. This wasn't my house. The neighborhood's local post box. A letter was sticking out as if someone hadn't pushed it all the way in. I knew it wasn't right, but did I look at the letter? Yes. There was no return address, but the envelope was addressed to Norman. Carefully, I tore it open and looked at the letter inside. It read, Stay away! She's mine! That was it. No signature. No other information. I had the wrong gate. This one was locked. I had entered our backyard. The rain gave me a terrible sense of foreboding, and it chilled me through my clothes. I was expectant, but also afraid. I never did fix this gate. It was stuck. I needed to press on. There was no turning back at this point. Dang it. Let the stormy clouds chase every one from this place. Come on with the rain. Have a smile <laughs> my face. I held my breath as I approached my uh, our back door. I was terrified to step inside. It's fine. The house was painfully quiet. The only sound was my own breathing, ragged and strained. I flicked the light switch by the door. The power was off. I remembered having breakfast here on this very table. I had pizza bagel bites. <laughs> was that yesterday or some time before? They were pretty good. There was a small pile of mail on the floor, in front of the mail slot. How long had I been away? Why hadn't Rachel picked this up? Most of the contents were bills. There was a credit card bill there. Did I open it? Yes. I ripped the bill open and read it. To my surprise, it said something about canceling my credit card due to non-payment. What the heck? The front door was locked from inside. I couldn't go out. Though, I needed to see if Rachel was here. The door to the basement. It was locked. Where had I put the ding-dang key? I had found the last missing piece from my wallet, the old photo of Rachel, and I stared back at me, reminding me of better times. Didn't make me feel terribly comfortable. Did I keep it anyway? Yes. I replaced the photo in my wallet, feeling like I'd got part of my life back. Still, the image made me uneasy. Why had I thrown it away? Our television. I had purchased it before I knew I was going to lose my job. I felt pretty guilty about it afterward, but by then it was too late. I used it to watch the Speed 2 film, and only that film. 
is the only movie I have. A DVD. I got a DVD player and a new flat screen TV. And I only watch Speed 2 Cruise Control. It's my only film. And I lost my job before I could buy any more. So it's only been Speed 2 Cruise Control. The door was shut. There was an old fashioned keyhole underneath the handle. The books there were half mine, half Rachel's. Hey, now that I look more closely, it looked like the man in that house had some of the same books as I did. What? There was a suitcase on the bed. It was Rachel's. I remembered it from that trip we took out west. Did I open the suitcase? Yes. I wasn't sure what to make of the suitcase's contents. Inside were a few days' worth of clothes, some toiletries, and a train ticket. I checked the date and time. It matched the receipt I found back in those horrible sewers. What was this? Rachel, who were you running away with? If only I could ask my good friend Norman about this. Our hallway mirror had been smashed. Its pieces scattered around the floor. Our sink, which needed to be replaced. One of the taps always stuck, but I hadn't got around to fixing it yet. We were lucky enough to get a house with one of these wonderful old claw-footed bathtubs. I would uh, bathe in them and pretend to be a Victorian. My laptop had been left on, and only had a tiny bit of power left. On the screen was a website about the old water tower. There was a key in the top drawer of my desk. Did I take it? Yes. I pocketed the key. God, I want a big bathtub. Yeah. My grandparents had a huge bathtub, and... I've never seen a bathtub that big again. <laughs> they had one with jets, too. Like, it had jets in it. It was a bathtub with jets. Do you understand me? <laughs> it's unbelievable. <clears throat> My dream in life is to eventually have a, a bathtub that could self-heat the water with jets. a bathtub that would keep the the water hot could just take five hour baths <laughs> no way I was gonna walk away from this now. old Christmas decorations in the box. The garbage bags were stuffed with old paint cans and supplies. There was a dirty old key here. Did I take the key? Yeah. I took the small key and tried to remember what it unlocked it. There were old clothes, tools, and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. I had put up this divider wall last summer so we could create a separate room in the basement. <laughs> What? I hadn't finished it yet, so the door was stuck, and the drywall was poorly installed. I might have been able to break through if I found something heavy enough. We had way too much a junk. I couldn't even remember our last Christmas. Looked like there was a plaster and an old trowel in here, too.
The front door was locked from inside. I couldn't go out, though I needed to see if Rachel was here. Well, where haven't I gone yet? The grimy key I had found in the basement unlocked the door. Nice. It looked like the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did someone break in here? What the heck? There was an old crowbar in the floor. Did I need to take the crowbar? Yes. I lifted the heavy crowbar. I appreciated its weight. Time to go back in the basement. That's the door, the front door. Did I break through the wall with a crowbar? Yes. With a heave, I swung the crowbar at the wall. I smashed a hole large enough to step through. As I stepped through the broken wall, my breath caught in my throat. That was it. This was it. Was Rachel down there? Was she okay? Rachel. Don't look. Okay. What am I not looking at? I can't see it. <laughs> Where am I? Don't look. Alright. What am I not looking at? A filthy looking pile of rags had been dumped in the corner. The stench of them was awful, and made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what lay within, but I knew I had to. I had come this far. After all this searching, after all I had seen, when I looked within the rags, did I finally find my Rachel? Oh, interesting. I could just say no. <laughs> I could just push no, and we don't find Rachel. <laughs> if I hit no here, Rachel's fine. <laughs> All I have to do is hit the no button. And Rachel's okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm sorry, Rachel, but I'm the yes man. I'm the yes man, Rachel. <laughs> I'm the yes man. I, uh, no. My hands trembled as I pulled back of the layers of cloth. There at the sentry, under all the dirt and mess, was my beloved, my Rachel. Her arms were bruised all over and slashed repeatedly. Her clothes were ripped and torn, and even through all that sickening blood, it was obvious she had been stabbed to death. The knife I had carried all this way was su suddenly seemed like poison. What had happened, Rachel? Who did this to you? I thought about all I had seen, and wondered if any of it could help me figure out who had done this. And when I couldn't stay there any longer, I stepped away on shaky legs and made my way back upstairs. Reluctantly, exhausted from my journey, I could no longer resist the urge to close my eyes. Maybe I would use some of Rachel's travel books to find some place to go. <laughs> yeah, maybe Oklahoma. <clears throat> it was my wallet with its contents intact. Either I dropped that stuff or somebody else, somebody else did. Maybe I was sleepwalking again, or maybe somebody stole it from me. Norman Store? That forest, the water tower? Was I at those places before? Yes. 
I didn't see how it could happen any other way. I must have been the one to lose my wallet and its contents. But what does that mean? What does it mean? This was the old photo uh, of that other man and his wife, I assumed. I found it in that house. I recalled those faded remains I had found deep underneath his house. What had he done there? Well, what did I think? Was that man involved in this whole mess somehow? Yes. Definitely. Those tunnels, the uh, odd tools in his house, and the remains of his wife. He wasn't innocent, that's for sure. Within the few broken pieces that remained of that mirror, I could see my face had grown pale and weak. I couldn't bear to look again. It was like I didn't actually expect a reflection. I felt empty and drained. The reflection in that grimy glass was only a shadow, a whisper. I still love the old-time charm in that claw-footed bathtub, though it seemed like cold comfort then. At least I still got my <laughs> claw-footed bathtub. <laughs> you and me, bathtub. It was the key card I found at the bottom of that factory locker. I never did bother to use it. Someone had been going through those lockers and poking around the plant. Still, it didn't quite add up. Was I the one who had been going back to the factory? Yes. I guess it could have been me, but what would I have been doing there? The laptop had finally run out of power. No more email and wives for me. Not that I would email a wife. It was the letter I had taken from the post box. Who had it out for Norman? Who sent him that letter? It must have been someone from the neighborhood. Or at least somebody wanted a, for it to look that way. I wasn't sure what to think. Did Norman? Did he murder Rachel? Yeah, it was Norman. Maybe whoever sent that letter wanted to stop him or do the deed himself. But I was sure it was Norman who killed Rachel in the end. You ding dang ding bat Norman. <laughs> I trusted you. We both did. What was going through your head? Why would you possibly want to do that? Despite his betrayal, Norman got what he deserved. But it wasn't me who killed him. Somebody else obviously had gotten to him already. So who sent, sent that threatening letter? From now on, I'll have no one to get angry with me for stupid things like buying this TV. <laughs> God, this guy sucks. <laughs> yes, man, it's no good. <laughs> My old office safe sat on the floor. I used to keep tax records and other important documents in it. I used a digital passcode lock, but I didn't have the code. Maybe I had, it, had left it somewhere. I leafed through the notebook I had taken from the forest. In it were the names that had been written down. Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, Iris, Daphne, Holly, Rose, Rachel. I recalled the names I saw scratched out on that old desk, deep within those musty tunnels. Was the man in that house really up to something? Sky Two Fall, thank you for the 199. The only thing I remember is not murdering anyone. I just remember that I'm a perfect little angel. I'm innocent. <laughs> this is the one thing I remember. It seemed like I had seen all there was. Maybe, I thought. I was ready to go back into the basement. Yep. The mail still sat there, heaped on the floor. How long had Rachel been lying in the basement? There would be no more dinners here. No more chit-chat over breakfast. At least not for us. No 
more chit chat. If I was guilty, I could take this to a warm, safe place and do something about it. Did I pick up the knife? Uh, I'm not guilty, but yes. I took the knife and kept it firmly in my hand. <laughs> I definitely didn't do this, but I, I needed to put an end to this situation one way or another. I can't, I can't go any, any further there. I guess I gotta leave the house. I can go out this way. I knew I needed to escape that nightmare, but what about the knife I still carried? I wondered, even if I left, would it really be over? So, did I leave that house forever? Yes. I am bringing the knife. Why not? Living in this town hadn't been easy. The plant had helped in so some way to stay grounded. It kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I had started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. I had MRIs and piles of doctor reports, but nothing seemed to help, not even drink, <laughs> not even drinking. I tried everything, like alcoholism. But I swear I tried to give it up. I know it. The sleepwalking never really went away, though. But I know Rachel had tried. I know she had tried to be there for me, even when everything was falling apart. This night had unearthed terrible truths, but I knew it was a final act of a long-standing horror I'd been living. Waking up in that house tonight was the final cruelty... I wish I had remained unconscious in that room forever. It was obvious to me that the man I had found in that house had something to do with all this. Could he have killed Rachel? It started to seem that there were too many things I had uh, seen to think otherwise. After making it out of those tunnels, I thought those sewers might feel safer. I was wrong. The security tape I had watched showed someone being attacked by what looked like two people. But who was it that was attacked? I had found the contents of my wallet scattered throughout town. Why the hey heck had I been out there? Had my sleepwalking gone to some new extreme? The thought that I couldn't account for my whereabouts, but I knew I had been to that forest and even Norman's place. Well, it was terrifying. I didn't know what that meant, but, I, but at least I had recovered my things. Hopefully, I thought, that would cover my tracks so I wouldn't be blamed for all this. Deep within those words, though, was where things became truly awful. Finding that notebook only made things worse. Rachel's name had been on that list, so what terrible plot was she a part of? There was a similar list of names on that desk back in those tunnels. What was the connection? My sleepwalking had obviously been a problem lately, but it was still difficult to admit that I was the one who had been going back to the factory. The episodes I had gotten had gotten worse, but... Oh, uh, no. I hoped I wasn't res the one responsible for that guard. After the factory, I thought I might uh, find some solace if I could just get to Norman's store. But all I had found were more horrors and more questions. Now that I really consider it, that's when I should have seen it coming. Norman, you rotten son of a gun. <laughs> you got what you deserved in the end. I realize that now. I thought we were all friends. What had happened? What did she do to you? Or was it what she didn't do? I didn't know what happened to him exactly. Maybe he was murdered, or maybe he took his own life, but it was difficult, if not impossible, to feel any real grief. When I had marched through the rain towards home, I desperately clung to the hope that this would end. And I guess in a way it did. But how could I have known how hopeless it all was? I had started to feel as disorientated as when I sleepwalked. To think of it now, coming through the back door and into the kitchen should have tipped me off that something was horribly wrong. There was no sound of television, radio, even the air was still. But, but seeing Rachel there, lying ruined and discarded in the basement, 
That was a horror I could never have imagined. That, that other man I had found was involved in all this somehow. I knew it. But it was Norman, that traitorous son of a gun. Norman, who had done the deed. Whatever was going on, he was the one who took Rachel away from me. I hated him for it more than I could possibly express. But that offered no strength, no solace. Rachel was gone now, and I was too, forever. As I swung open the door and stepped out into the air, I caught the scent of wet grass and fog. Rachel, my beautiful wife. Just the thought of her again, cold and inert, shook me from head to toes. What would I do now? Who could I turn to? It would only be a matter of time before the police got involved, before the neighbors knew. The front lawn was soft and giving beneath my feet, and I couldn't shake the urge that I shouldn't stand there, but rather that I should run. Well, there you go. <clears throat> Home. <laughs> the guy threatened his wife for the credits? Sorry. <laughs> Did you just see that? <clears throat> Sorry, the guy just threatened his wife for the credits. I missed it. Yeah, let me, let me, uh, sorry, let me, uh, you know, um, uh. load up the VOD. Home is dedicated to my wife, Nancy. Watch your back. <laughs> Jeez Louise, all right. <clears throat> dedicated to my beautiful wife, who I might kill. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a joke about killing my wife. Don't, it's a joke. Don't worry about it. It's a joke. <clears throat> I would not kill my wife. But watch out. <laughs> watch out, you son of a gun. Sleep tight, wife. Sleep tight. Well, we did it. We got through home, a unique horror adventure. Uh, you know, I, I think I am going to play this again next week, but we're going to pick all no's. We'll, we'll go. We'll, we'll do a no playthrough. We'll see. We'll see how different it goes. <laughs> see how different it goes. What happens if you just say no to everything? Got a few minutes left, eh? <clears throat> Let me see if I can, I can move this. Move mode, here we go. There we go. Back in its regular spot. What exactly is PlayStation TV? It was a micro console that uh, Sony put out that plays uh, PlayStation TV compatible Vita games. <laughs> Not all Vita games. PlayStation TV compatible Vita, Vita games. We got a 
few minutes left. Hey. Let's re reload up Hello Flowers. I played this a while back. Oh, by the way, thank you again, Antonio. Antonio's the one who sent me the PlayStation TV. Antonio, thank you so much. It's a treasure. Hello, flowers. Here's our flower garden. We're returning to it. I said we would one day. Because you keep playing, you have won a new bouquet decoration. Use it now. All right. Bouquets. Wow. Competition. A bouquet competition has been announced. Go for it. Bouquet competitions are announced regularly. They remain open for a few days. You have plenty of time to grow the flowers you need and create your bouquet. Read the com competition rules carefully. Follow the rules and you can win. Special bonus to handheld bouquet, best flower daisy, extra points for color white. Okay. Let's go to our... Uh, go to the gardens. We can't go to French gardens yet. Let's go to casual. Select an icon to landscape the garden. Pick a flower and drag it to an area using the cursor. I don't, I don't have any flowers. I've got zero. I need 12 identical flowers, all right. I guess I gotta leave here and go to the... <laughs> this is total whiplash. <laughs> you know, just, uh, it was a pretty intense experience. So now we're, uh, we're relaxing with some... Some nice... Nice flowers. Sky to fall, thank you for the 199. Ra Rachel, this bouquet is for you and your corpse. I think Rachel would have loved these flowers had Norman not killed her. It was Norman. Norman did it. Don't even think about blaming me. It was Norman. <laughs> that son of a gun, Norman. Well done, I'm gonna put a seed in here now. Let's, let's drop one of these seeds. that work? No, I don't think that did work. Oh, there we go. Alright, I got some seeds in. We gotta cover the hole now. Oh my god. <laughs> Dang it, I, I donked up again. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, wonderful. The flower has... Yeah, congratulations. Good job. It's time to water it. Dang it, I keep pushing the wrong button. Stop, the flower is too much water, no! <laughs> uh. That's probably fine. pretty nice. <clears throat> uh, I guess they have severe warnings on them. <laughs> I guess they're all dying. Yeah, I guess every every one of these is dying, actually. 
like Ra <laughs> like Ra like Rachel. No, no, my wife. Uh, well, I guess there's nothing I can do. I guess I guess I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm done. Well, that'll be it for tonight. Thank you all for tuning in. Had a good time. I will return to uh, to this game next week and do all the no options. I don't actually know how many different like uh, ways the the game can go and how much your decision influences stuff, but I feel like saying no to everything will definitely give us a. Uh, a different ending. <laughs> it's, things have got to turn out differently. If we say no to literally everything. It's a wild ride. It was something. I like, uh, I like the game. I like the, the concept of it. I like that you just go around saying yes or no to things. <laughs> the story unfolds that way. <clears throat> well, I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is uh, Sega Saturn Day. Gotta be playing something on the Sega Saturn. God, I gotta get up early tomorrow. My uh, the, the tree that fell on, on the house is getting moved tomorrow. The tree people are coming tomorrow to move the tree. There was a tree that fell over. <laughs> there's, as far as I know, there's no like significant damage or anything. It just, it, I gotta get the tree out of here. I gotta get that ding ding tree out of here. So they're coming tomorrow to move it. The quote I got was less than uh, than I was expecting. So that's good. They don't gotta dig up the tree or anything. It's like a very tall tree that broke in half or something and half of it's now just on my house. <laughs> <coughs> so they're coming. The tree people are, are showing up. Tree people. The tree people. I don't know what you call a, a, a tree person. <laughs> Someone whose job is to do tree things. Arborist. Is that... Is that, is that the actual... Arborist. Let's see. Professionals who care for trees and other woody plants. Yeah, they, they, they don't care for it. Uh, certified arborists are equipped to offer planting, pruning, transplanting, fertilizing, monitoring, and treatment for insects and diseases. And tree removal. So yeah, I, I guess they it, it falls with an arborism. Sure. I'll let you know how that goes. They get here at 7.30 in the morning tomorrow. I usually wake up around noon. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's a little rough, but what you gonna do? Not have your uh, tree removed from the house? I don't think so. Well, have a great night, everyone. A great morning, afternoon, evening. Whatever it is, wherever you are, have a good one. Farewell, everyone. I love you all. <laughs>